I could go on for hours about it, but it's, it's very simple in a nutshell, right? You create your new app. You just create something called RMAs. You can upload an image. You could use some existing icons, change the colors, things like that. Next, give it a name. Your first object in the app, right? Like in the sales app, one of the objects name is sale order. Another object name is customer. And you can see that here. If you go to sales, you'll see orders. Like these are objects, right? Orders are an object. Sales teams are an object. Customers, these are an object. Products are an object. So you can start to name your objects there. We'll just say the first one is RMA. And you can easily create that. So from here, you can start to design your interface, right? We can add a status bar. And we can say, you know, this is new. This is um, in progress. And then we could say um, closed. Something simple, add more values, and it adjusts the pipeline. You know, we can begin to design the interface. Remove that from view. Then take a many to one field, just like I said, and relate that back to a contact. Take another many to one field, relate that back to an actual order, sale order. You know, we can take a many to many, or we can embed tabs here like this. And we could say this is for, you know, notes. And we could have another one here and say this is for the actual transfers, right, of the products, you know, the RMA, the products shipping in and shipping out. You can even relate back the, uh, the entire transfer view right there, which is very cool, I think. Um, you can also activate the chatter widget to track the historical activity when we created the record, time, date, etc. Now, um, you know, maybe you want to also embed an employee who is responsible. Uh, I don't have employees installed, but we can base it off users. And right, you can easily rename those apps. We can click it here and say, oh, those fields, and say responsible. And then I think there's a create uh, created on, and you can see uh, the created on here. And it'll embed the value automatically, I believe. So just like that, right, we could uh, relate a customer. We'll create a customer right on the fly, right from the RMA app, right? That's what's nice about the framework is that everything is so easily able to transcend into other parts of the system, functionality, right? Because the whole framework's already in place. It's just a matter of reappropriating it. And we can link it back to an existing sale order or create the sale order from here, right? We can easily save this, just save it. And sale order one, yep, responsible, leave me as responsible. Then we have our transfers here, we can save. So for sale order one, like let's just drill into here quickly and create a product just for the example. We'll say 12, you know, 200. And we can go ahead and actually confirm it, create the delivery. Now, if we go back to our RMA, I go to transfer, I can see that, that sale order, that delivery is right there. You can see the status, it's actually ready to ship. Right? And you can track all that stuff right in here. You can change the progress, it'll update that. You can have that track in the chatter if you want to. Um, all that good stuff. You can also, in Studio, design reports. Right, so maybe I want to create a new report for this. And in this report, I want to drop a table. And a table I want it to relate back to the, not there, but the RMA. I want to pull out the transfer. Just like that. I see the name of the transfer, and I can add fields to the column. So I can also say maybe I want to know the, from the transfer, I want to know the particular product. Right, and we can see the product here. And from the product, maybe I want the barcode. Maybe I want the cost price of the product. Maybe I just want the product name. And you can see, you can add that here. And there's our test product. You can close it out. And there's more, way more you can do with that, right? But you now have an RMA report you can easily print and give to a client. So you can customize this however you want. You can also edit the HTML, uh, excuse me, the XML of the report as well by just going into Studio. Uh, well, first off, by making sure you're in what's called debug mode, which is here. And once you're there, you'll see your little bug icon. Then you go up here to the report, and you can drill into the report. 
like this, and you can see in report here, XML, you'll see everything we've done. Now, that's that. So let's talk about this RMA for a second. We can relink it here to an order and assign someone who's responsible, see our transfers if we want to, and save it. Let's go over to the contact app, search John Doe, and let's say we want to see all the RMAs associated with John Doe. Very simple. We'll just go RMA, and we can actually link it back. So we can see by linking down here at the bottom, confirm, it'll show us a little window into all of John Doe's RMAs. You can see that there's currently two under him. I can drill into those, and I'm looking at this view, right? And it's in this view where I can start to customize it. So I can say, remove the name field. We don't want that, but we could say uh, maybe I want to know the contact. I want to know the um, pipeline status. I want to know the who's responsible. I want to know the sale order it's related to. So you get the idea here, and I also want to know when it was created on. Oops, created on will be a left. Save it, right? And it all applies. I can now group by any of these. I can group by, for example, who's responsible. I can group by the sale order. I can group by the name. I can group by the contact and easily see just like that and drill down into those and drill into the related sale orders it's associated with. So you can start to really get an idea of how powerful Studio can be. And again, we've written no code. Of course, if you embed, you know, if you have a small team of software developers working behind you, injecting Python into this, there's really a whole lot that you could start to do with the tool. Um, so that is how that works. I mean, if you have any other questions, if you want to like generate an RMA ID automatically, like an automatic sequence number, like you can certainly go into our sequences and you know, design a new sequence here, right? The prefix, the suffix, you know, sequence size, step, right? Given a name, sequence code, and you can automatically generate the RMAs and given them a new unique RMA number like RMA09465. And then the next one would be RMA09466, et cetera. So that's uh, how it works in a nutshell. If you have any additional questions or you want to know, you know, more about how you can test Studio out here and adjust views and offer Kanban views, right, and see it, you know, grouped by, for instance, uh, the stage pipeline status bar, and then obviously dec decorate these with information that you want, the individual orders. We could certainly talk about all that. Um, hope this was helpful. If you have additional questions, let me know.